Hi gorgeous, my name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover, and I picked up a few pieces of the new Fenty Beauty lip collection. I have two of the lip liners here and two of the gloss bomb sticks. I wasn't sure how I would like the formula. There's still one more shade that I want. I want the shade Riri. I picked up the shade Blaze Donut 01 in the gloss bomb stick and the shade The MVP because I love a red. And for the lip pencils, I picked up 04 Peanut Butter. And what's this other one here? 10, the MVP. So we're gonna do a very quick lip swatching video of this. I will have everything on my face linked down below for the pencils. I just wanna point out that there are 1.24 grams of product in here. I picked mine up off of the Fenty Beauty website. The shipping was incredibly fast. I got mine within two days. I don't normally get them as quickly from Sephora. And honestly, ever since they changed their shipping, things have been coming slower than normal. It usually takes a week or so. So I was happy to pick them up from Fenty and I got free shipping from them anyway. The two pencils I have here, one is quite a bit more neutral beige. This is peanut butter, shade 04. I love the component. The component is pencil. It has this lovely little plastic cap here, but I like that it's kind of got that silver reflection to it. It's very sleek, very stylish. The shade, the MVP for the traced out lip pencil is beautiful. I cannot wait to try this one because so far of all the red lip liners, I'm on the hunt for the best red lippy ever. But this pencil I have high hopes for because Rihanna seems to do amazing things with all of her lip products. So this, cross my fingers here. For the gloss bomb sticks, I am more of a matte girl, like satin matte at the, at the least. You guys know that. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. This shade 01 Blaze Donuts. It's more of a pinky undertone. So it's not nearly as neutral beige as the peanut butter lip liner. I'm hoping this one makes a perfect nude for me to just wear it anytime I want, whether I'm at work with makeup, no makeup, doesn't really matter. And then the shade, the MVP, this one, from the promo pictures and everything I saw online on Instagram and all that good stuff, this looks so juicy. I'm not one for like juicy, glossy lips, but I'm really hopeful with this formula. So we're gonna try this one out today and honestly, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. But the shade Riri is on my radar. If I truly like this formula, if it kind of reminds me of my Suku Moisture Glaze, gotta get the shade Riri. I'm gonna wait for that one to go on sale though because honestly, there are plenty of sales coming up with the holidays, so why not? I'm gonna start with the lip liner Peanut Butter and Blaze Donut and then go into the MVP last just because I wanna wear this one for the rest of the day and I think it'll go with my eye look. This makeup is the Suku Miyabi collection. This will be up next. So I'm pretty sure this will come on Saturday. Just kind of, if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button because this look is awesome. I'm gonna do a liner test on my palm here. Well, kind of where, where can I see? Okay, I'm gonna do a liner test. I'm gonna rub it here and just kind of see how it lasts, how quickly it sets down. So by the time this video is over, I'm gonna try to smudge them out. We're gonna start with the traced out lip liner in the shade 04 Peanut Butter. I might have to perfect this off camera because I can be really picky.
So far right off the bat, this is incredibly creamy. It's got quite a bit more slip and glide to it than what I typically prefer. So in a lip liner, what I typically look for is how well can it smudge and then how quickly does it set down? And then lastly, how long does it last? So longevity is key, but for starters, I need it to go on evenly and smoothly without having to kind of like budget my lips too much and then blend it out with my finger, which I'm not having the easiest time blending it. So I was hoping for a little bit more play time but it is drying down very quickly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Gloss Bomb Stick in the shade 01 Peanut. No, this isn't Peanut Butter, this is Blaze Donut. I love all the names, they're so cute and creative. And I'm hoping for a bit more of an ombre effect. Mmm, this smells amazing. And that feels incredible. Honestly, I probably should have gotten the pink lip liner. I think that is Thug's Cry 2 or something like that. This is more of a lighter shade to Riri. The formula is so soft. My lips have a little bit of dryness here on the bottom left, but they look amazing. So the, there's not a whole lot of drag and tug at all, which there shouldn't be for any type of formula like this. It's a very balmy for, formula. It looks incredible. It's not really accentuating my lip lines. And there's something about the smell. I can't taste it by any means. And now for red, the MVP. This is the one I'm the most excited for. I love a good red. Reds are my favorite. Anytime I can reach for a red, I'm gonna reach for a red. Super creamy. I just used the Rare Beauty Red Devoted. Oh my gosh, this one feels so much more slippery. Messy application aside, this is the shade MVP. It is rich. The texture is a little too smooth, too creamy. I know that sounds like it's supposed to be an amazing thing, but it's a little too creamy, but it's got pigment. I chose to fill in my lips as much as possible only because like I got carried away. I love how this looks. Honestly, you could fill your entire lips in with this red lip liner and it would be stunning. But it's it's a little too creamy for my liking, but it works perfectly. So let's go ahead and use the Gloss Bond Stick because this is the one. The smell is just so good. All right. Woo! Oh, God. I'm in love, I'm in love. Okay, formula wise, this is so good, so comfortable. And so sexy, ooh. For a glossy, super shiny lip, this is sexy. Definitely not sexy on the teeth, but ooh, it's so beautiful. Red teeth and all, totally okay with right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a melted effect to the lip. It's it's a very creamy formula. Almost melts on contact with your skin. It's a very intriguing formula. I don't even think my Suku Gloss Bomb, when Gloss Bomb, Suku Moisture Rich, like Glaze Moisture Rich, I don't think that one is as soft and melty as this one. Now this one, the red, I would definitely not be able to wear just on its own. I would need to wear it and pair it with a makeup look like this one, but 
I, I know I can get away with bla glazed donut on its own, just not wearing makeup at all, but this one, as much as I love a good red, I still need to wear a total makeup look for this. I don't think you need a full like all out look, but definitely something, just something, because it is a gorgeous, captivating red, and I can't stop staring at it. I'm not much of a glossy lip formula, but this formula is very comfortable. It's very easy. I just get it everywhere. Let's very quickly do the lip liner smudge test. I'm gonna use both fingers here because I wanna see how they each do individually. So let's see here, peanut butter. This has been on since I applied it, so about seven minutes or so. Not bad, not bad at all, an MVP. I mean, I'm really working on this. And like I said, when I applied peanut butter, that dried down so quickly, I didn't have a lot of time to smudge it. The red one, it didn't dry down as fast. And I'm definitely able to smudge it just a little bit. I mean, I think it would need more dry time. So definitely let your lip liner dry a little bit more. But peanut butter, that one is like glued to my skin. That is not budging. Oh, good, absolutely good. So I definitely need the shade Riri. I'm gonna compare the MVP to the Devoted Lip Liner from Rare Beauty, or at least the shade Devoted. That one isn't as creamy, but I think it will have more longevity. Between the two of these, I'm super happy with my purchase. I, I really love this red, like I've already mentioned, but I think for just all everyday nudes, the shade Glazed Donut, is it Glazed Donut or Blaze Donut? Blaze Donut, perfect for fair skin. I adore it. That said, I am excited to get at least one more shade. Honestly, this is just an incredible formula. I'm very surprised because I wasn't expecting it to be as melty on my lips. It's like the warmth of my skin really changed the texture a little bit, and I didn't think they would be this luscious. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review. I love lipsticks. They're fun. Everything on my face will be linked down below. So if you click on those links, I do earn a small commission. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys spending your day with me more than you know. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.